Hi there and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here I will continue working on the V12 engine. Here I'm going on to to make the or to add some detail on the inlet manifold, okay? Uh, here I will start new sketch here I will sketch a circle and make it fit to to this circle okay then I will add a center rectangle and by using uh, using um, uh, ferret okay and using uh, radius and we add all this thing in this tutorial okay uh, i will accelerate the video to see the sketch after okay just if you want to uh, to see the tutorial step by step uh, please you can um, down the, the the velocity of the the video and see and see it step by step but if you want just to uh, to have the dimensions just uh, see see the result okay Here I will add the, the center rectangle with using the, the the best dimension here just to see the dimensions and you can repeat the same thing. Then use the fillet. Okay. Make sure that you have not the this thing here, okay? If you have a nearer just make sure that you have the good dimension okay once you finish this select this profile and add an extrusion here okay extrude it like this and validate Uh, I forgot to tell you that you have to start but uh, looking for the the reference okay the Y and Z axis okay you have not to start in the other side because you will find nearer after okay now i will add a point here just to add holes after just find the center of the the arcs as you can see here if you see it is black that is fully defined now add the two holes here Okay. Once you finish the holes, uh, just go ahead and and you repeat this in the other side before this I 
I will select the two of the feature and with using the middle plan here as you can see you have the same result in the other side then you can select all of these features you have, you have two options you can start with a rectangular pattern and select the features or you can select the feature that you want to repeat and click on the rectangular pattern don't forget the direction okay switch the direction and repeat it as you can see here I think is all right here and let's go ahead as you can see we have a nice result let's go ahead and add some detail as you can see here you have just to rotate your model like this one okay and I will add I'll add some hole here just a question to add to fix to fix the common rail system okay now just to add a point like this and add some dimension When you see all thing is all right here, finish your sketch and go to the hole, select this one. Make the best size here and and the good dimension as you can see here. Uh, validate by OK. As you can see here, I will repeat this one. Just select the hole and select the good direction. Make the best uh, best distance here between each and validate. Make sure that you did this, this hole, in the best uh, side, okay? Look at the reference, and as you can see, don't do a near here, because if you did a near here, you will uh, accumulate other error in the assembly. Uh, now, I want to to add some detail in this face just select this face and I will add two or some rectangle here Select all of these profiles, extrude it. Okay, I think it's too big in here. Okay, 
but we have nice result here here I want to make some detail here just select this face and make sure that you you, you rotate you rotate your uh, model like this one just to see the the reference or the 3d or the cube view or view cube okay and just make this uh, this rectangle add some dimension like this one okay and add a dimension in this side as you can see here and we will add a dimension uh, as you can see from here to here okay just select uh, the two of them and make it coincident and cut material as you can see here and now we have nearer here as i say to you in the episode 25 that we did nearer when we did this extrusion okay we will fix that right now as you can see here uh, find this sketch the sketch of the rectangle when we started on the episode 25 okay then as you can see here we have just to redefine to redefine the sketch we have just to choose the best uh, plan or face here we have just to select this face just wait a sec when fusion upload the result and as you can see here just you can verify we have verify doing this we have 30 okay when we return to the our detail here as you can see it's fixed now we have only to save your work rotate your model like uh, like this one okay and go ahead and press F to have a fillet here okay once you finish this fillet go ahead and press F again and select uh, to these edges okay and add another fillet here just press just press F again as you can see and choose two of them okay now I want to repeat this one using a rectangular pattern just select all the fillet with 
the the cut feature and you repeat it as you can see here just to respect the dimension and the quantity I repeat that you have do this all this detail on the best side okay not in the other side in here we arrived in the end of the video thanks for for all your for all subscriber and thanks for watching see you in see you in the next episode how to model v12 engine with fusion 360